Here I go. Hand in the box of Cicada Killer in three, two, one. Oh yeah, there's definitely a long stinger. Good eye, Owen Johnson. And what I have inside this container is a very big wasp. Look at that. That is a wasp that we see a lot of here in the East United States during the summer. The cicada killer. And looking at this wasp, you are probably thinking that is a terrifying animal. What can that animal do to me? The answer actually is very little. They're non-aggressive and actually have a very mild sting. These wasps want nothing to do with you. They're solitary. They don't even live in colonies. They're, they live just on their own, just the one of them. At this moment, this wasp wants nothing more than to be let go. And if I were to pull off the container, there would be no anger. No, he would just fly away. This wasp is super non-aggressive to humans. Now, they are called cicada killers for a reason. And we'll get into that here in a minute. However, if you see these wasps buzzing around your house and garden, because they do, and you're, probably, and you're wondering what he's looking for, the simple answer is he wants she. It's a she. If they're flying around your house, then it's almost certainly a she, because the females are the only ones that do this. They're looking for a place to build nests for them to store the cicadas that they catch. Let's talk about the cicada killing, because that's the fun part, shall we? These wasps come out at the same time as you as cicadas because they hunt around for cicadas. That's another reason you might see around your house and garden, looking for cicadas in your trees and bushes. They catch them, sting them, and the sting, while it doesn't do a whole lot to us, it's powerful enough that it paralyzes the cicada, and they then pick up the cicada, which is no small feat. Cicadas are not small insects. Even big wasps like this, they require a lot of muscle. These are big wasps. They're strong wasps. And they literally pick up and fly whole cicadas. Again, to them, that's very heavy. Long distances sometimes to get back to their burrows. They store them in there, and then when time comes, they lay the eggs on the cicada, their eggs, and then the eggs hatch, and they eat the paralyzed cicada over winter in cocoons, and then in spring, they pupate, and back summer, a whole new generation of cicada killers comes out of the ground. So in reality, these are actually really not pests. These are beneficial animals. All right, however, there's, there might still be some doubt. Like, really, how non-aggressive are these wasps? Let's prove it to you. This is the container I have used in the past to put my hands inside of. I put my hands inside this container along with other stinging insects. I've done it several times before with bumblebees and honeybees and things like that. Let's do it with this guy. I'm going to cut for a minute while I get him transferred, and then we will return, and I'll put my hand into a box with a cicada killer. Transferred. Now, fun part. Here I go. Hand in the box of cicada killer in three, two, one. And there we are. He didn't even notice my hand enter. She. I keep saying he. I'm pretty sure this is a she. The she, she didn't even notice my hand enter. She's highly preoccupied right now. Staring straight up, I guess. She doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot of anything. Look at that. Super non-aggressive. I'm, I'm going to reach out and touch a wing. Watch this. Look at that. Yep, just touched the wing. Didn't even notice. But if I put my hand out here, she just keep crawling. I need to stop. I mean, look how close my... I, my hand just touched the head of the wasp, and she didn't even notice. This is crazy unaggressive. Like, my hand is on top of her head. I'm practically petting this wasp. Oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. Yeah, there's that wing. She is. She's more proactive right now in trying to use her incredibly large mandibles to bite through the mesh and to even bother with me. I'm gonna put my hand out so I can get her to crawl into it. She might, or she might not. Oh, just trying to bite through that mesh. She might bite me onto it. She might bite my hand, right? Thinking of. She just like literally brushed her abdomen right with her finger as against my hand and even. This is incredible. I knew they were non-aggressive, but I didn't realize they were so unbothered by people that they would just handle this. Like, this is incredible. She just grabbed onto my hand. Look at that. I'm kind of pushing her. I'm pushing her around. Okay. I think I've proved my point. The cicada killer is not bothered by people. Last step to this video, as always. 
Let's try up the four steps and see if I can pull her out. That's not a good grip. But here we go. Success. Let's see. Do I see a stinger? Oh yeah, there's definitely a long stinger protruding out of that. Ooh, out of that. Yep. Ripped herself free from these four steps. She's super strong. Well, that was incredible. We learned about the cicada killer. We learned how non-aggressive they are. And they got to see the stinger. I'm Wolf Johnson. And I definitely had a whole lot of fun this episode. See you again soon.